What is up everybody and welcome back to this new awesome cool project video. Here we are going to build this project. All right, so that was the project which we are going to build today. If you are interested in knowing for like how this everything is going on, with just few lines of code, we are able to build that project. So let's get started with me. All right, so for the purpose of this video, we are going to import two libraries named CV2 and NumPy. We are reading the camera webcam attached to my laptop using the video capture function. Then I am reading the two successive frames from that webcam, which named previous and the new. I have flipped the frames because the input from the webcam is um, mirrored so it not looks original so I have flipped the image and press 1 all right so I have iterated in the two loop which if I press escape key will gonna take out from this two loop then I'm calculating the difference between these two successive frames okay think of it if there is no motion in these two frames then um, the values will have no difference as we know image is a array of values so the absolute difference between these two frames would be zero all right so if there is any change there will be some difference to it so we will um, place that that calculated difference in that dip um, variable then we have converted that variable to grayscale means that image dip image is then converted to grayscale then we applied blur to reduce any noise if there is any available we applied threshold function with thresh binary mode in it and the minimum value is 10 and maximum is 255 this may change in your own case you may you may have to experiment with this value if you want to use this code then we have applied dilate and erode function to reduce the noises around the edges then we uh, find the contours using the find contour function and we uh, find the contour on this thresh image after finding the contour uh, in the thresh image we uh, we are applying this uh, mode and mode and this method and i am drawing the circle at this uh, extreme position from where I want to calculate the distance to the point so as you have might seen in the intro of this video this there is a red point with uh, five radius so it is this point which is located at this position if you want to calculate from to any other point you may need to change this position and also from uh, to these positions here then um, I am iterating in the contour variable which is um, declared over here and I am checking if the contour area is greater than 30,000 now you may need to experiment with this value also based on the location of your camera now my camera is really close to me so i have to increase this value a lot you need to reduce the value if your camera is near to the uh, far to the subject all right so if the contour area is greater than 30000 then i am um, finding the edges which bound that contour area and i am passing those values to x y w and h all right, so why I'm not uh, reducing this value as, the, as this function might be able to find so many contours in the image. Even the noise in the image would be declared as contour. So if the area is really high, it means there is some good uh, motion around that place. So I am uh, declaring here if the area is greater than 30,000. And again, I'm passing the value to the XYWH and I am finding the center of that um, circle which bounds this area and I am passing that value to x1 and y1 all right you must have seen the red center in the uh, in the rectangle which is uh, followed when the rectangle moves or the motion is happening and this uh, position of that circle is inside the x1 and y1 and for drawing the circle we require the position to be in integer but this returns in float so I have converted those values to integer then I have connected these two points x1 and y1 and 20, 200 uh, using the line with width 2 and color of blue. You must have seen in the intro of this video. Then I am putting the text on this previous window which shows the calculated distance and the formula for calculating the distance is a uh, Euclidean distance formula which is over here. Alright, so after putting the text on the window also I am bound I'm drawing the rectangle which has starting point of x comma y and end points of x plus w and y plus h and the color is 
BGR green and I am drawing the circle at x1 and y1 position as I have, I have mentioned earlier of red color and at last I am showing it to the user what is the final result with the distance and everything on it then I am updating the frames with previous frame equals to the new frame and new frame equals to the new upcoming frame from that webcam and again flipping the frame and if the user presses the escape key it will gonna get out of this loop with that said I think you understand whole code over here again github links will be in down description if you want to use this code you are feel you are free to use this code in your own project if you haven't pressed the like button please press the like button as it motivates me a lot and check out all the videos in my channel because I have more interesting videos than this on my YouTube channel. Please press the subscribe button and thank you for watching this.